Yat A, everyone. Happy Friday once again. Uh, for this week's address, I'd like to thank parents and community members who attended the CCSD public hearings this week. These meetings took place in all three district locations of Kirtland, Newcomb, and Shiprock. We had participation from community stakeholders in each of the locations. For those of you who are not familiar with these meetings, this was an opportunity for each of our district's departments to showcase their goals and their work in our district. The most important point that I would like to make again is that all of us who work in central office are here to support our schools. We're not here to provide extra work or roadblocks for our staff who work with children. We're here to support students, school staffs, and communities. Some of you are probably tired of hearing me say this, but we want students to look forward to coming to school. And we want to create an environment in our district where teachers and staff feel valued for the work they do every day. We also know that even if you feel appreciated and valued, you're probably ready for a break. The time around the holiday season can be pretty stressful for people who work in schools and with children. That's because kids know there will be a fairly significant change in the coming week. Most of our students are excited that they'll be able to enjoy time with family, but some of our students will actually miss the comfort and safety that our schools provide. The Thanksgiving holiday is not only a time to give thanks, but to support one another during the holidays. Let's make sure our students know we will be here for them when they return. In the spirit of Thanksgiving, I'd like to read a letter from a student from Ojo Amarillo Elementary. Ms. Racoma sent in this letter from fifth grader Caitlin Nathaniel. How to make a turkey. Turkey is an animal that is well known for being cooked and eaten on Thanksgiving. The ways that I cook a turkey are, first, clean the turkey in the sink. Second, preheat the oven and then season the turkey while waiting for the oven to preheat. Third, you put the turkey in the oven and let it cook until the turkey is done. Therefore, I learned that turkey is a well-known food for eating on Thanksgiving and that food or a nice dinner could bring a family closer or just together. I also learned that it brings a bond and it gives family a time to get closer together and to catch up on some things that the other side of the family hasn't heard before. Thanks, Caitlin. That was awesome. If you enjoyed Caitlin's letter, you can find more student letters on our Facebook page. I hope you all have a chance to have a meal with family, work on those family bonds, and to catch up on things you haven't heard from the other side of the family. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your much needed week off and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Hug on